Good morning guys from my bedroom. Having a chill morning. I haven't vlogged on this camera in a hot minute, so it's like giant. But I've been doing research on all of these cameras because Aspen posted this like new vlog camera she's using. I know it's been forever since she's uploaded. I wish she would upload more. She was talking about this camera and I actually have it pulled up. It's called the Sony, the Sony ZV-1 Mark II camera. So this is what it looks like, but it's like, the size of the G7X, but it has like a wide angle lens and it's similar to this one, but this camera is the M50 and it's like, it would not fit in your belt bag or a small purse. Like I have the strap on it right now because I was like, I wanna carry it around and everything. Anyway, I'm going off on a tangent, but this is not a compact camera. The lens actually like comes off and everything. So I love this camera. It is like a really, really good camera. I don't wanna speak too soon, but I wouldn't like sell this one, but I'm planning on selling my big camera. So I was gonna show you guys if you want it. Look on my eBay. I have, if I can or remember to, I'll link the listing down below, but I'm planning on selling my DSLR because I don't use that. It is way too big. Honestly, like I like taking pictures, but I want the G7X Mark II, which I'm thinking now I'm gonna sell my G7X Mark I. It is not in the best shape. I'm gonna be completely honest, but like the thing about that camera is that like the lens kind of dirty. I just want like the updated version. And I know that there's a Mark III, but it doesn't have like very good autofocus. And honestly, I would use all of these cameras um, interchangeably because the G7X is great for photos. Um, like when I go out with like my friends to take photos and I would want a vlog camera that is like compact like the G7X. I don't know. I just want all these products that I actually use because I'm going to show you in just a minute the camera that's just been sitting. That bin hasn't been touched in over like a year and a half probably. So that's not right. And if it's sitting there, I just want to sell it so someone else can enjoy it. I can get some money to put down on the new cameras. And then I think I would use the, the money from the G7X to buy the Mark II version of the G7X. I will take a loss a little bit because my G7X isn't in the best condition and it's also the Mark I. I don't know. Um, I know I can definitely get at least, I would probably put it on the market for like 400 and then I would have to probably pay $200 for the camera, but honestly, that's a good deal. So I would just put the money towards that. I don't know, I just rearrange and sell things so I can get new things. Okay, so I could go to the pre-loved market when it comes to cameras, but I don't like doing that because I'm pretty hard on my cameras and I don't want one coming to me that's like already been like used. I know that sounds crazy. For bags, it's different. Like I honestly don't mind getting a secondhand like luxury item because normally the quality is like great and stuff. But when it comes to like cameras, I'm just so hard on them pretty much that like I just want it new out of fresh out of the box. I'm gonna show you guys what I plan on selling. Okay, so don't mind my dog. <laughs> yeah, she's right there. But I'm gonna show you guys what I'm planning on selling. So basically, this thing, I always forget to charge. It's a rechargeable mic. I don't know, like, I did get it for Christmas. Or did I get it for Christmas? I don't know. It's just one of those things that like, I'm not gonna use, like, let's just be real. And if I can get some money for it to put to the G7X Mark II, like I will, I'm gonna sell this. I am not gonna use this. And it's like a rechargeable Apple mouse. Again, it hasn't been charged. I got this during the pandemic when I was working from home. I don't need it really anymore. I haven't charged this and used it. It's been sitting in my bin. Oh my gosh. So I sold a big lens. I must have not put this in the package because this is the Sigma 18 to 35 millimeter 1.8 lens. Ooh, well, that's awkward. I don't know what I'm gonna do with this. I might put it with the lens I'm gonna sell. Here is the kit lens, which is gonna go with the camera. I'm also gonna sell this camera bag with the camera so I can maybe like mark up the price a little bit because I'm gonna be like, you're getting a camera. Um, and you're getting the camera lens and the bag. You know what I mean? And then I don't know what these things are. I just kept them because yeah, then I have these little like things to go over the lens. And then, oh, I have a lanyard. <laughs> That's not gonna be sold. This is like for a selfie stick. I can't believe all this stuff has just gone to like no use. It's kind of wasteful, honestly. Like I hate that all this stuff has just been sitting. That's that's why I'm like, I want cameras and stuff that 
are going to be used a lot that aren't just like sitting around, especially like this big bad boy. Piper, I'm gonna need you to like calm down. Okay, she gives me a huffy breath. So basically, this is the big DSO. Oh, I should take off the, this is for a tripod. This thing is for a tripod that's broken that we got rid of because it was broken. And basically I only really use my like tripod for like taking my own photos and stuff. So, but this is the big Canon 70D. Uh, this is a lens. This is like the YouTube lens back in the day that everyone would want to use. It's the Sigma 1.4. Yeah, it's the Sigma 30 millimeter 1.4 lens. This is the first generation of the lens. There was an updated version, but I got this second hand and honestly it didn't come in the best condition, but I got it for a really good price. So I'm probably gonna sell it for like 150 or something. The holidays are coming up. So I think it's gonna be a great time to put all of this stuff on eBay. So this is the body. This is the kit lens. So this stuff is gonna go together in this bag because I'm just gonna like put it all together. This is a separate item. Oh, I was like, what is this thing for? No, this is for the camera I'm like using right now. So definitely this isn't gonna be for sale. This is actually going to be sold separately. Will this even fit? Oh, it's too big. All right, so, <laughs> so the lens I sold, this must have, no, cause this is a Canon product. The, oh, this goes with this. The lens I'm filming on has one of these. And then this is also, and one's for the body of the camera I'm filming with. So definitely these are gonna stay together. Honestly, these two things are gonna be garbage because I have no idea what they go to. This is gonna be sold separately. I don't know how much I'm gonna charge for this one, but, oh, hey, here's the, here's the little sun hood for this camera. It goes on like this, or you can put it on like this, like you can see if like it's bright outside and you need that. So all of this stuff is gonna be its own listing as well. I need to take pictures of all this stuff. Then these batteries, okay, funny story <laughs> about one of these batteries. So I only had one battery and I was doing a freelance project and um, my boss at the time, he was like, you only have one battery? And I was like, yeah. So he was like, well, I think we're gonna need two. So I'm gonna go out and buy a battery because we were using this camera for the videos. Basically he didn't have one or if he did need one, he would just rent one. And I'm like, well, I have one. So he was like, well, we are definitely gonna need more than one battery. So he went out and bought a battery. And when we were, when we were done with the shoot, he was like, well, I can't really return this. I don't think so. You can just go ahead and have it. And that's how I ended up with two batteries that honestly would never be charged because I would forget to charge them. Thus, why I never used this big camera. So basically <laughs> two batteries will be included with this listing. This is the charger for it. I was like looking over there. No, the chargers over there are for this camera and my G7X. This is the charger. It's gonna go with that. This is garbage because I already sold the lens and that lens sold for like $500. That was awesome. Yeah, this is just gonna be garbage cause I don't know what to do with it. <laughs> I forgot to put it in. I'm glad they didn't like come back and was like, where's our hood? Um, and then I'm gonna go downstairs and get my G7X and I'm gonna list that one too. I don't know if it's gonna sell. If it doesn't, then I'll just keep it and use it because it's a great camera, but I really want the Mark II. I don't really know where the charger is for it, but maybe this is the charger for it. I don't know, I'm gonna have to test all this stuff out. Okay, so I hate that I'm backlit, but it is what it is. It's the next day and I wanted to unbox like this cute fabletic set. I hope it's the pink one. Oh my gosh, it's the pink one. So I'm gonna do a whole like Barbie theme. What the heck guys? They gave me a backpack. Whoa. So first off we have these cute little leggings hot hot pink looks adorable then we have this really cute bra i love that it's like off the shoulder i am nervous though that it's like not going to like hold my boobs up so that's something that i'm a little concerned about but guys they sent me a backpack how freaking adorable i love this i honestly might use this as my backpack 
Look how cute. Thank you, Fabletics. Like, I was not expecting a whole freaking backpack. All right, and also too, we're getting our TV hung up, which is so exciting. I'll show you guys when it's hung up. How excited are you, Valerie? I'm sorry? How excited? How excited? Oh, oh yes. good, good. Piper was super excited. Oh yes, yes, yes. Show us the new television. Well, anyway, we it looks really nice. A brand new television here, all of and I. It looks really nice. Yeah. Even though I don't like TV, it still is a good addition for decor. Yes, and it's got a great sound bar. So I wanted to show you guys the outfit. Look how cute this is. I think I'm gonna take some pictures, but also I'm gonna make a TikTok. I'm gonna do the Barbie girl dance because I've been wanting to do that one. And this is the perfect opportunity for me to do that. So I'm gonna go film that real quick. Hopefully everything turns out well, but. I absolutely love this set. It looks so cute on. I'm going to go film that now. The fact I got Piper to be in this bag is like hilarious and actually like really cute. She's definitely getting a treat. I cannot get over how cute this is. I'm at Cycle Bar now and it was kind of like last minute that I like signed up for this class because I was like, no, I don't want to go. But then in my head, I'm like, well, I pay for this and I like the teacher that's teaching tonight. I've taken one of her classes before and she's like so good. She pushes you so hard, even though I really can't because I'm really tired and just getting over my period. So I don't know how hard I'm gonna go. I always say that. Yeah, I decided to come because I don't really wanna go tomorrow morning. I just ended up here. So I'm gonna go in now, but um, yeah, I just wanted to share that because I know we all like go through just not just like being really lazy, like feeling lazy, but then pushing ourselves is always the best thing to do. In eight seconds, I know the recovery doesn't feel long enough, but that's what we learn in here to start before we're ready. Go before you're ready. Quarter on, faster, go. Go before you're ready. Quarter on, faster, go. Come on. Okay, so I'm going thrifting with some friends. It's like a couple. No, it's just like a day later. I don't. Yeah, it's a day later. So, wearing this green outfit again because just wanted to. Uh, I might get some like B-roll clips on my phone, but like honestly, I don't wanna have to like vlog. Maybe I'll make a TikTok. I haven't really decided yet, um, but I just kinda want like a break from like doing social things and vlogging. <sighs> I don't know, forever, forever not knowing what I'm gonna do and just choosing at the last minute. But we have some items for Goodwill. So I asked like a few friends if they wanted this TV and no one really wanted it so it's gonna go to goodwill then we have this horse we have this um it's like a teapot coffee pot thing i have no idea where this came from this glass thing this other horse and then this candle which my parents have had this candle forever i can't believe they're getting rid of it but you know it's fine and then i also have some clothes like some scrubs that don't fit me and just like other things so like old clothes that i'm going to donate guys it's iphone season you know <laughs> and i'm thinking about getting the new one because i've been just watching all these videos on the iphone 15 pro and like i just really want it and you know what do i make some bad financial decisions yes i do and this is probably gonna be one of them because no, there's no reason to get this new phone, really. If it's lighter than the iPhone 14, I kind of want it. It's kind of heavy, if you know what I mean. So I don't really like it as much. It's probably been like the least favorite of my iPhones. I don't know. It's just, it's thicker. If you go watch my video comparing the iPhone 12 and the iPhone 14 Pro, um, I had the 12 Pro and then I upgraded two years later to the 14. Um, I really like the 12. My mom actually has that one. I gave it to her. I really like that phone. That was a really good phone. I don't know. I'm just ready to... I don't know. It's just the 14 I wasn't really vibing with. And I still... It's not my favorite. Um, my favorite has been the iPhone 5. I loved the iPhone 5. And I love the 12. Those have been really good phones. My 10s Max was just too big. I couldn't hold it in my hand because I did the iPhone X or 10s Max. It was just too big. Um, love the color of it though because I got the rose gold. I like this phone. Also too, I'm rocking the red, the product red phone case because I'm so excited for Christmas. I don't know what's come over me, but I'm just super excited for Christmas. We still haven't gotten to Halloween. I don't know. Now I'm just rambling. <laughs> I found 
this weird purse. It's a pyramid purse. <laughs> we found some good stuff. I'm gonna try this on. I don't know if I'm gonna get it, but if it looks cute, I'm definitely gonna get it because I could wear just like a white shirt underneath it. It's like overalls. Yeah, it's just like a pair of overalls. And then I also, I'm gonna, I'm definitely going to get these because you can see them at Target. They sell them for like $10, but they're only five bucks here. 